brothers and sisters. Welcome again to another viewing of the records that the Most High has shared with us, and we are bringing it out. Before we start, there's a passage in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 12, verses 15 and 16, which correlates to the records that are coming out. Revelation chapter 12, verses 15. And the serpent cast, cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. Now as you read Revelation the, uh, 12, the first chapter, that woman pertains to the nation of Israel. And the water as a flood pertains to lies that our people are being taught by the school system, the church system, and when you go back the uh, serpent, the serpent represents the ones, the so-called white man. His biblical name is Esau. So they're the nation of Edom. They have kept that information out of their uh, history books also. Now who among the children of Edom that's pushing out these lies? Those are the scholars that's pushing out these lies concerning blacks and Hispanics and also concerning them, because they're not the original inhabitants, rulers, kings, and queens that we heard about. The true kings and queens were blacks, black Jew, black Hebrew Israelites, to make it simple. Let's read on. After the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood, now, what the scholars have done is teach lies and hoping those lies can seduce the minds of our people. Verse 16, and the earth helped the woman. The earth helped the woman simply means scholars, you call them archaeologists. They go out and dig the remains of our forefathers. They go into the scriptures first and dig the remains of our forefathers and keep it among themselves and do not share it with the rest of the people. We have these records which were dug from the earth. And the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Again, what is coming out of the earth? The archaeology records that you're about to see uh, briefly. What are the archaeology records doing? Swallowing up the lies, destroying the lies that the scholars among the children of Esau, or among the children of Edom have pushed out concerning our forefathers, concerning the blacks in the Puerto Rican. Cut. Whatever you're ready. Okay, again, as you can see here, we have a genealogy tree, which top scholars have put together concerning King David line. Because the Most High says in Genesis chapter 49 that the scepter shall not depart from Judah. So scholars have come together and collected the records of these kings, titled, The Heritage of the Anglo-Saxons. They have traced our forefathers from Abraham, from Adam, all the way on down to the royal house of David down here. And they have traced the uh, kings that sat on the throne from the day King David slept with his fathers. Now what we will do today, we will scroll down and focus on the Normans. See if you can focus on that real brief. The Normans. As you can see, the Normans are, came from the line of King David. So the Normans were Jews, were Hebrews. 
Hebrew Israelites. And the Normans were the Vikings. The Vikings, when you read about the Normans, you are also reading about the Vikings. They controlled the sea. You did not go anywhere without them being involved in it because they had the ships for you to travel on. Okay. Okay. Remember from the uh, genealogy tree, we mentioned the uh, Normans, which were the Vikings. When you go to research, you can go to the libraries, uh, go on the website, you pick up uh, any records on the uh, Vikings, you will see the name Normans, because they were actually the uh, Vikings. Now we have an archaeology book titled, Cultural Atlas of the Viking World. Edited by James Graham Campbell. Colleen Beatty, Helen Clark, R.I. Page Neil S. Price. We will go into this archaeology book and see how the Normans look like. Cut. Uh, we are at the uh, front page of the archaeology book titled Cultural Atlas of the King of the uh, Viking World. By the way, the word Viking comes from the Hebrew word which means long live the king. It goes from, from the uh, Hebrew, Latin, and all the way down to English. It means long live the king, the Viking world. This particular archaeology book was edited by James Graham Campbell and the uh, publishers are, what a title, Facts on File. An Infobase Holdings Company. Facts on File. An Infobase Holding Company. Good title, I like it. Cut. We are on page 211 in the Viking world, long live the king. Uh, we have established that the Vikings were black Jews, descended of the nation of Israel from the uh, genealogy tree, speaks for itself. How scholars have put together the uh, genealogy tree of the uh, royal kingship. And all the royal kingship that we have demonstrated thus far are descendant of the nation of Israel. Now, this is what we have on page 211. The Vikings, based in the lower region of France, ravaged anger in the 9th century when St. Auburn was bishop. And this life of the saint, written about 1100, they are depicted on their ship ready to attack. However, these warriors are shown on in the 11th century manner with long mouth shirts and kite-shaped shields of the kind that were used by the Normans. At the same battle of Hastings, and are shown on the Bayou Tapestry. The artist has put the steering oar on the wrong side of the ship. Now let's see how the Vikings look like. As you cross